this is Simba. He is the number one Sir Cat on the leaderboard right now with 40 in 24. He is at 2,257 MMR in Masters, and I got to spectate one of his games. Here's what happened. I guess I'm going to have to get my hands dirty again. Take your last breath. All too easy. Fantastic. Perfection. Embrace eternity! Triple kill! Aww, is that the best you can do? Alrighty, gamers! Let's get right into watching the number one Sir Cat. Man, Sir Cat clears so fast level one, it's crazy. They're gonna get to red buff before the, the, the other two even have cleared anything. Oh my god, is this solo lane Agni? Oh, that's, that's, yeah, I don't like, I don't love that. Well, they have no frontliner. Their team is, <laughs> their team is atrocious. Their team is Nuwa, Rama, Agni, Baron, Sirket. Oh my god, wow, they have cooked up a team here. Uh, what are- uh, did they start? I wanna see how they play this first wave. Wait, Yannis portaled? Oh, no two yet. Uh, it seems they have cooked up a little bit of Eye of the Jungle into Morningstar. I think they're gonna go Transcendence, maybe Hydras. Not likely it's Hydras, usually Transcendence. But they're opting for more power than, like, Crit or Jotuns, which is interesting. I think you can go Transcendence on every jungler right now, and you get rewarded for it because the games go so long. It's not really a bad thing to ever go Transcendence. It does get portaled here and takes some damage. They have pressure for days, it seems. It's a taunt. They are level three. He jumps away. He took a lot of damage, but he does have that Baron's Brew to heal back up, so it's not that big of a problem. Nuas poking a lot. Nuas poking really well. So they're about even on trade right now. I think he could kill Ravana if he gets a good taunt on him. Yanis misses Portal. I think he might be looking to kill, or might just be looking to clear a wave. This middle part of playing mid and jungle is always so awkward, because it's like, do we want to fight? Do we want to just farm? It's like hard, it's really hard to decide what to do. No, it's not hard to decide what to do. Is it? And the like button, come subscribe, and check, give us some, thank you! Use code SOLID, check out, sponsored. And subscribe, you people that aren't subscribed. Like, 45% of the people that watch my videos aren't subscribed. Subscribe right now. Do it, it's free. It looks like ADC got a free kill. He gets portaled again. I think he's just gonna, yeah, he's just gonna dash the wave. He is, uh, as John Cena would say, Bing Julin right now. It is, looks like he's going to back. I, does he get Transcendence too? Yeah, he does go charge Morning Star right off first back. He still has some pots. He's good to go. It looks like he didn't try to force anything too early. Sometimes you can get some early cheese kills on Sir Cat with just how strong your taunt into one combo is but it looks like he didn't get really an opportunity to do that. So he's just gonna grab whatever farm he can. I imagine it's just a speed buff, red buff clear into ganking some lane. Looks like he wants mid, mid lane first and then he's gonna get the XP. Mid waves are always worth more, ladies and gentlemen, than your jungle farm. So anytime you can tax it without completely inconveniencing your mid laner, you should do so because holy moly, lane XP is way better than jungle XP every single day of the week. So wow, he's he's staying for another wave. He's opting to get a lot more waves than he is farm. Jungle farm right now. Looks like Nuwa is going to farm the speed buff. That is interesting. That is uh, a little weird. Looks like he's just gonna grab the XP on the left side of the map then. Maybe he meets Nuwa for this wave. No, Nuwa's going to mid wave. They are farming really weird. <laughs> they are farming really weird. But they get level five at like three minutes and 38 seconds. That's not bad at all. You can jump this way, the, the wall, get more farm over here. I wonder if he goes right for Ares. That's what I would do. That character is bad. 
And I refuse to believe anyone plays that character good, because I think that character is just bad. But that's just me. <laughs> How many free kills will he get on Ares this game? That is the question. That is truly the question. Looks like it's a counter gank. It's taunt. There's a lot of people there. He some good damage off, and he has alt. Yeah, this is such a free kill. Ravana is trolling, and the poison spreads too. Spreads to Ares. They shell. Why did they shell? Why did Baron shell that? There's literally no issue and no threat, but whatever. In the world, clearing a minion over running away. Oh, he does get taunted here. Well, he picks up one kill, like, for nothing. Literally for free, so that's pretty hype. It was a good gank opportunity. He was level five, teammates. Oh, he's going aggro. Ooh, he gets a free one in mid, too. Wow, that was good awareness. That was good awareness. Even though mid pinged it, still, it's kind of sketchy to go for sometimes. He did get a free one. It looks like he's invading a little bit. Mid laner goes down. He sees a Ravana. He has to run away. Or maybe he goes for the gank on Wukong? He jumps away Ravana just to be careful. I think Ravana is blink still. He wants to get this backhand. I don't know if he knows Ravana is still chasing him. Oh, Ravana gave up. Trying to gank the soul lane Agni, it seems. He's just gonna grab all this farm real leisure like. Oh, he sees Ravana there, I think. Did he see him? He didn't see him. Ravana's still prowling around. It's so bad for Ravana to be wandering around like that and not getting literally anything. He's not doing damage to anything. He's not getting any farm. That is really bad to do as a jungler. Like, that, it's just painful. Sometimes it just happens because you want to be aggressive, but no buffs are up, so it's like, what do you do? All right, he will go... Where is he going to go now? It looks like he's just going to keep farming up. I think he finishes Transcendence here. Did he finish Transcendence? Yeah, he finished Transcendence. Pretty big. He's going to start stacking, doing a lot more damage. His ult does give free crit chance. It'll be interesting to see if he builds crit chance. Because usually the, the, the passive crit chance isn't enough, and you want a little bit more, at least like a Deathbringer, to get your crit chance all the way up. So you... Uh, will crit more often and 100 percent people with your 2-1 combo so we'll see we'll see if he builds it i would imagine he does but maybe he doesn't maybe he just goes full pen power and hopes for a lucky crit he's farming pretty well he's got two kills like just got handed to him too and that's always nice when you don't have to work for your kills it's always a good time aries is out of position he has three levels on the aries nuwa gets a free yanis kill is he going to jump in here? I think he's waiting to see what happens. He's looking at Ares and the Ravana. Alright, he does cancel it. He's thinking about Blanket, maybe. Alright, now he's going to just look for the Dan's, because it's a 1v1. So Cat just... Oh, Dan's ulted in, too? This is so free. Oh, my God. Oh, poor, poor little Dan's. And he's dead. <laughs> Literally nothing he could do about that. I think Ramo was gonna solo kill him. I don't even know if he needed to come over there. He's gonna be close either way. It is 10 to 1. They are pooping on the enemy team. The enemy team literally has a better front line. They just need to exist and not feed their brains out, and they will win late game almost no matter what. Are they doing that? No, they're not. They're getting shit on every single lane. Oh, there's another kill. Oh my god, people don't know how to pace themselves in this game, man. I'm convinced. He's beating up the Ares hard. He still has all. Oh, he changes. Dan's, you have no tower! You ran all the way back up there with no tower? He's so dead. Oh my god. Well, Sir Cat is doing a great job of, like, capitalizing on every single mistake the enemy's making. That was a bad one. Why was he there? He didn't have a tower. Why did he push all the way up there? Oh my god, that was really bad. That was absolutely rough by the Danza, bro. That hurt to watch a little bit. Oh, he sees Wukong being really low and chasing this Agni. He goes for the farm instead. Oh, it was it was Wukong decoy. It wasn't even him. Rama gets another kill. Dude, this is a landslide victory right now. This one is not close. Every lane is winning, and that's like the worst situation. He knows he's there because of the new wall. So this is free. 
Oh, he's out of mana too, he's dead. Oh my, what are these people doing? They are handing, they are handing him kills left and right for doing nothing. Absolutely nothing. All right, so he does have Transcendence. He is going Rage, I believe. I think that's a Rage, or it's a Deathbringer. I think it's a Rage second item. Transcendence Rage. He is so ahead now. He is level 11 at nine minutes into the game. This is a tragedy for the enemy team. Looks like Baron needs some help. He might be able to get uh, just an Ares. They could kill. He has five. He has five levels on the Ares. Five. Oh my god. Looks like he's just gonna opt to back here. He could try to go aggro if he wanted to. Nope, he's gonna back. I think he's gonna finish his rage. That's what he wants to get online. Yeah, he finishes rage so he can start stacking it as fast as possible. It makes sense. He's getting some farm here and there. Rama's doing a little trolling. Uh, where does he go next? He can't pick that up. He has a random blue buff on accident. That is an oopsie daisies. He picked up the Wukong's blue buff when he killed him. He's just gonna drop this buff. Agni's getting dealt by two people. Maybe he helps out over there. God damn, he clears fast already. Yeah, they didn't kill the Agni and they're over committing super, super hardcore to this. This dude is super dead. He doesn't have all, he chased way too hard. Beans and corn. Oh my God, this dude is getting railed. He still has a five level lead on Ares. He didn't see him walk over there. Oh, now he saw him. I think he saw him or heard him. Or he's just waiting for this camp to spawn. I think he's just waiting for this camp to spawn. I don't think he saw him. No, he definitely didn't. He would be running directly at him if he saw him. Ares was so out of position and he has five levels on him. Five. That's horrible. That is that. Oh my god. That is a landslide. He's looking for an invade here. He knows the enemy teams. Uh... Yep. Ravana, are you blind? He must one hit him. Oh, I missed the jump though. He's trying to jump after him. He does have ult if he needs to. Ooh, there's an Ares too. He might be in trouble. He's getting Ares ulted. He doesn't. Oh, he does go down. Damn, he missed jump. If he jumped, ulted Ravana, I think he uh, he at least trades out, but he he misread the Ravana's pathing, which I mean, fair enough. That Ravana's pathing was terrible. It didn't even make sense. Oh my god, Agni's beating the shit out of this Wukong. Baron is getting kills left and right. I didn't even think that was possible as Baron support. Baron support's not like... <laughs> It's not like anything to be like really worried about. Like usually half the time they just do nothing and feed. So like, what the fuck? Their whole team is popping off. It's 17 to two. This game is so over, man. Well, okay, what item did he pick up? He's six and one. He is going to Deathbringer next. This looks like some free kills. Yep, there they go. Oh, another one? He's beads and he's critting the shit out of him. They should pull gold here. They don't pull gold here, I'm surprised. They should, that's just free gold, enemy, uh, the, the, the fucking blue team. Come on now. Oh yeah, now they're calling it. Maybe? I don't know what they're doing. That was such a free gold. I don't know why they didn't do it right away. They're getting farm first though. That's never a bad thing. It is still kind of early into the game. Maybe they don't want to get it stolen by Yanis all. Well, that, uh, they definitely should have done, done gold. That was just three people dead. Everybody's full HP on your team. That's a that's a gold jury. Nope, now they're calling it. Okay. Baron got another solo kill. What the fuck is going on? Baron is seven and O. Oh. Full tank Baron. What the fuck? Why can't this happen in my games when they pick Baron? Instead they just go O oh and eight and feed their brains out. He has a four level lead on him. Oh my god, he has a four level lead. Good luck ever killing the Cirquette that has four level advantage on you, by the way. He's looking to he's looking to combo the Dans if he gets over aggressive again. He has three levels on all of them. He has such a lead right now. He's looking to use it, which is good. I see a lot of the times people like will get a lead and they won't use it, won't be aggressive. It's like, bro, you literally can't lose when you have a lead this big. Unless like you get four man. Oh, he does find a Ravana. He hits him with the combo, and he is... Ooh, he ults away, sneaky boy. Oh my god, he got popped! 
He got popped by four people. It's so sad he didn't have all. He would have killed them. That was good baiting by Ravana. I don't blame him for going for that though. At all. You, you should use your lead like that. It's just, it was in, unfortunate. There was literally four people there. A surrender vote has started. <laughs> I can't imagine it's from the, the blue team. I think it's the red team trying to surrender because they have three goddamn kills out of 22. Holy moly. All right, what do we got here? Does he have Deathbringer yet? He doesn't quite have Deathbringer yet, but he has fully stacked Rage already. He sees the Danzenboro horribly out of position. He walks right into him. He doesn't even have the dash. That's beads. It's a lot of damage. He crit him a billion times, and he is evaporated. Ooh, Yanisol. They tried to get him. He's probably going to get purple, get a wave, and then back is my guess. There's action in the mid lane. Oh my god, red team's fighting back. All right, so he, he didn't go for this wave. He just is back, and I think he has his Deathbringer is the main thing. Yep, he does finish Deathbringer. I think he's going Heartseeker next. Let's go Morningstar. Looks like they got a little bit of mid Phoenix in that mid fight at 15 minutes. Oh my god, this is a landslide victory. This is a team differ right here, because the enemy team has the better comp, but it does not matter. Baron gets another kill. What is going on? How are this many people dying to full tank Baron? I don't understand. Oh, Ares, you useless piece of shit. <laughs> wow, look how he chained him multiple times. Wow, that was effective and useful. Uh, let's go for an invade here. There's not much to get. I think he sees Yanis doing this buff. He jukes the Yanis ult like nothing. All right, that's down. He's still chasing him. He does hit him. I don't think he catches him, though. I think he's just out. He doesn't even use his one. He doesn't even give a shit. His balls are so massive, he does not care. Oh, he tries to catch him. He's still going aggro on him, even at this low HP. Oh, my God, and he kills him. Oh, my God, it's a, it's a, it's a catastrophe for the red team. What... Matchmaking diff is so real right now. Like it is this Baron is fucking on everybody. He is 10 and 0 full support Baron. He's gonna get another kill. Why don't I get the useful Barons on my team, man? What's the deal? What's the deal here, man? He's nine and two. He's going Hydra's next. That's interesting. A lot of people are like, oh, Hydra's is counterproductive to Sircat. Uh, it gives her more, more burst. Like, shut up. It gives her more burst, and it's like, it doesn't even make that big of a I think it actually is more damage. I've never understood the argument why Hydra's is bad on Sircat. Like, if you auto tag everything, it should be more damage, technically. I haven't done the math on that. Oh, that's a kill. Baron literally setting up everything for free. Okay. Oh, that guy's dead. He's gonna pop. He's got a doubler. Get the get the penta. If he can hit taunt on this guy. Oh, he barely immunes it. Oh my god, he has six levels on him! He has six levels on him! He tries to ult him! That's crazy. That is crazy. If he just won straight down. Oh, he's dead. Oh my god! This is this is the craziest ranked game I've seen at the Masters level. This is not close. What the fuck happened? I guess this isn't mass. Well, he's Masters. How is he in this game? He's Masters. Everybody else in the lobby is Diamond. I don't understand Smite matchmaking sometimes. I truly don't. He's playing really well, though. He's, like, not panicked at all about running away. He knows exactly when he can fight. Like, jeez. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's so much damage. He does finish his hiders. I think it's a Blood Forge last item. Call him for Gold Fury. That's a free gold. They're gonna, like, two-hit it. All right. He's back on the prowl. Jesus, man. Crit build broken on Sir Cat, especially that she gets free crit. There's no way Ravana is walking up to the Sir Cat. Like, that is such a bad idea. Oh my god, he's dead! Jesus! Why did he. He saw her and kept walking towards her. That's crazy! 
Dude, I get Ravana, you have an immunity button, like, but come on. This person has like a five, six, seven level lead on you. Like, fucking run away. They can spit on you and you would die. Oh, we'll come. Oh. That was the tank, by the way. That was a tank. Looks like they're gonna get Phoenix real quick. It's 39 to 7. He has almost. Oh, God. Oh, good God. Why did he beat? Oh, he's dead. Oh, my God. Yeah, just run the fuck away, you animal. Two autos. He's dead. That's a triple. Oh, that's the quad. Don't steal it, Rama. Hit the auto. Oh, no, he gets out. Well, I mean, he doesn't get out, but he doesn't get the quad for it, and that's fucked up. Oh, this is last. Oh, he's trying to tank it. Oh, he ults him, and he's dead. Oh, my good. Oh, my. He's 17 and fucking 2 in 20 minutes. Enemy team, what happened? Enemy team, what happened? This is... Enemy team, this is sad. This is just sad, enemy team. What are you guys fucking doing? They're not playing as a team at all. That is insane. All right, does he pick up Bloodforge last item? No, he, did. he couldn't buy anything. Oh, he finished his Protector of the Jungle. And he crits for a thousand now. Good, yes, good. Good, that's awesome. That's really good. Well, he gets to do whatever he wants now. I don't know how he dies. Maybe he gets a resulted. Maybe that's quite literally the only way he dies. He's looking for kills. He smells them. He's smelling them. He's looking for them. He's looking for literally anyone. He has a six level lead on Revive. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, there goes Danzen, bro. Hey, nice knowing you, bud. He's gonna right. auto him down. Oh, he dies! He tanked Phoenix! He tanked Phoenix right as they got EFG. I don't, I, I'm gonna keep it a buck. I don't think it matters. I think this game is over. God damn, he's like, he has like 20 kills. He has 20 kills in 20 minutes. He has a kill a minute. No wonder this Baron is shitting on these people. These people can't hit abilities. He's been 1v2ing this whole time. Enemy team hit him back. At least immune the two. Like, what the fuck? Okay, this Ravana's boosted his shit. I don't understand. What is going on? Does this guy have just, like, 60,000 games played? Like, how in the hell is he here? I think this game's over. Are they ending? They have all three Phoenixes already. I think the game's over. I think the game is over. Let me spectate the, the, the fucking Baron. Because he's in the front lines. This one, he's just getting so much value. Half the enemy team is in the base still doing nothing. It's over. He's sucking Ares. He's fucking him. Game's over at 20. It's 47 to 8 at 22 minutes. I haven't seen people get that shit on in a while. Wow. He ended 19, three and five. I think matchmaking had a stroke or something. I don't know. I don't know. He shit on everyone. His whole team shit on any, any, everyone. <laughs> Beans and corn may have done something worth reporting. Yeah, it's called going one and five. He definitely said a gamer word. Ravana went two and 12. Janus 0 and 13. That's a character that runs away a lot and is hard to kill, by the way. Ares 2 and 9. Dan's 3 and 9. Oh my. Okay. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. He did 27k damage. He did most damage in the game. That dude is different. He just shit on everyone and wasn't close. Sirkat is so oppressive right now. Wow. You get any kind of a lead, you do that. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please do all the shit. Check out Twitter, Twitch, Instagram, Discord. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.